Spike sat down with the cast of Lone Survivor and former Navy SEAL Marcus Luttrell to talk about our nation's soldiers. One of the sayings that we have, especially going through training, is like, look to the left, look to the right. In, in a little while, these guys aren't going to be here. They're going to wash out or whatever. And then once you get into the SEAL teams, it's the same statement, but it's, it's changed a little bit. It goes, look to the left, look to the right, because one of these guys is going to be dead. And when you're looking over at these guys that you've been through all this stuff with, you've bled with, and, and, and you've gone through hell with, and you, you think to yourself, man, I, I don't know if I could live without, without this guy, but that's the job for the normal person to just realize they're not made of that stuff. Like, I, I, I read so much and heard so much, I just went, yeah, I'm not capable of that. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. They're that guy. You know, like, every time you hear those quotes and you, you hear those stories, they're just, I think that's why they're so powerful, because you so clearly can identify that you're not that person. But at the same time, filled with so much admiration for people that can maintain that standard of will. In, in, in reality, in, in real life, when you're out there and you're going through that, the smell of blood and the, 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 the smell of, of, of your rifle just being fired so many times and the heat coming off of it and the ground being on fire and, and the screams of pain, not only from us, but, but from the, the guys that we were, were killing, it, it just it brings a whole different aspect to that, to, to what, what goes on in your head. It's a man's man kind of thing. These guys don't need to talk. They don't need to tell you they're SEALs. They don't go around sh showboating and they get the job done and they go home. And that's the beautiful part of that family and the brotherhood. I certainly have a much greater appreciation for what every single person that's ever walked into a recruiting office has done for us. And when I found myself thinking about how many times I made a movie and I talked about, oh, I had to do this and I had to do that and how tough this was. I just feel really bad for ever thinking that, considering what these guys went through and what they do on a daily basis. People ask me all the time, like, well, what can we do? You know, what, what needs to be done, or this, that, and the other. I mean, just, just because these guys, just because we're military and we're soldiers, it shouldn't alienate us from anything. You know, a human being, just like everybody else, just in the military serving your country. And we Man. go over, we fight to war, we come back, and then we just got to, we have to reintegrate into society. Yeah. If you, want to do something to, to help with the military or to, to support the veterans or something Contribute. like that other than to say thanks yeah. for what you did I mean, because that really that truly is enough um, I would say just just treat them like you treat an everyday person treat them like a human human being because that's what they are yeah. you know they just put in a, in, a, in a situation that most people uh, don't expect to get into that's somebody's son that's somebody's brother and everybody can relate to that regardless if you serve in the military or not Spike salutes our soldiers and the new movie Lone Survivor.